Yo, what's up? Before we jump on into this reaction, dude, go on over to twitch.tv slash johnsloppreacts and leave a follow if you want to catch all these live streams where we record these reactions. And go on over to patreon.com slash johnslop to submit your favorite songs for me to listen to. And you can help support the channel as well. Appreciate you. Let's jump on into the video. So, Bill Jones coming up next with, whoa, whoops, list. Uh, Tommy Emmanuel's Antonella's birthday. Thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate you. Getting back into some Tommy Emmanuel. I'm so happy we're checking out uh, something from him in the same stream. Can't wait. Antonella's birthday. Let's just jump right on into it. Here we go. Fantastic start. It feels busy. It almost feels like, yeah, we're at a birthday party. Perfect. Perfect environment building here. Tommy, your, your mind works wondrously. You're able to think, what vibe do I want to create? And you have perfectly nailed it. Fantastic. We have to pause it just one last time. Ugh. Just the control he has with those harmonics. Every note is perfect. He's landing it. I haven't heard a single slip up, and it's just like... I don't think I've ever heard a guitarist like this. This... I don't know what to call it. Perfect? Like, precise? It's just so quick, so fast. It's beautiful. It's emotional. Tommy lives in a different world, dude. Tommy Emmanuel. Uh, thank you. Let's just keep this one rolling. Ah, uh, gosh. Wish it was longer. <laughs> Happy birthday, Antonella. 
you deserve this song. The song was probably uh, the gift, right? <laughs> I wrote the song for you, Antonella. Happy birthday. Wow. And once she gets older, she'll probably really appreciate it for what it is. It's one of the best. Again, he's so good at writing compositions for like just almost classically. He's obviously classically trained. So he he's very used to writing compositions like this. It's just so fun, so inspiring. Antonella's birthday. Beautifully melodic, harmonic. Uh, most of the vibe was pretty optimistic, exciting, building up, and then towards the end, uh, I imagined everything in my mind. I was thinking of like a birthday party, right? Like a children's birthday party reminds me of like my family birthday parties. Dude, when I was little, we had the biggest birthday parties because I had so many cousins. Well, I still have them, right? But, uh, gosh. Gosh. We're not kids anymore. That's all I'm saying, right? <laughs> like, uh, it was a lot of fun. I love this. I love this. Tell me, it's connecting to my soul. Uh, what what was the song like for you guys? Gets a thumbs up and a subscribe. Going over to YouTube. Subscribe to his Patreon. Or YouTube. If he has a Patreon, check it out. Does he? Not in his... Not in the description, so... He almost, he's almost at a million. Go, go give him some attention, guys. Lovely, pure bliss this song was. And there was like a slight hint at the end where it was getting really emotional and maybe dipped into a little bit of minor, minor key, but it just swiftly ended in a, a beautiful melodic way. Uh, I bet you would love new Chautauqua. Oh, wow. Chautauqua by Pat Metheny. Incredible acoustic album. Oh, probably. Wow, that's probably like a native word, huh? Yeah, that'd be tight to check out, dude. Pat Metheny, right? Did I say that? Do they bring you gifts? Uh... Honestly, uh, yes, yes, some do, but, uh, dude, you know, sometimes, dude, honestly, you fall out of touch with some people, uh, and I've been thinking about reconnecting with some family members, it's, it's been in my mind, so it'll happen, maybe I can start bringing them gifts, dude, that's, that's what makes, that's what could make the difference. I could start bringing them gifts. Just start the cycle, you know? Just start it up, not wait for people. So thank you again, Bill Jones. Amazing. Tommy, Emmanuel. 